Welcome to the lecture series on real analysis. In this lecture, we are going to continue with few more ideas and examples of boundedness, closedness, and we are going to define something called closure of a set. First, let us define closure of a set. In order to define a closure of a set, we take a subset of metric space X. By closure, what we are trying to say is that it is going to be the union of these two things. What are these things? This denotes the, the set of limit points of E. So, you are just making a union of the set with the limit points of that set and you are going to call that as the closure of the set and it is going to be denoted as E bar. Uh, let us see few examples for this closure. Uh, <coughs> let me take my x to be the real line and the metric to be the uh, usual metric and let me take my set to be the collection 1 upon n where n runs in this thing. Okay. And in one of the previous lectures, we have seen that the limit point of the set is going to be only one point and it is 0. We know this is E. E closure is going to be E. That is 1 upon N such that N runs in N union with this set 0. In this, this 0 is never obtained. It is approaching to 0 but it is never obtained. So this is going to be the closure uh, in the same in the same space and with the same metric let me uh, take this to be my set what will be the limit points all the points inside this set are going to be the limit points of this set as well as you will have what this along with you have this point the boundary points that is the exterior uh, the front area points that means these two points are also going to be on your limit points. So, your limit point is going to be closed interval AB. Therefore, what is going to be your closure? That is U union E prime. That is open AB union with closed AB. You are going to get your closed AB to be your closure as a set. Suppose with the same metric, I am taking another set. Okay, with the same metric, let me choose my E to be the collection of points. Uh, sorry. Collection of points x1, x2 in R2 such that, uh, what may I say? This is satisfying this condition. What does this mean? Let us look from here. Okay, it means summation i runs from 1 to 2 absolute of xi minus yi whole square to the whole part 1 upon 2. So, this may be written as the points in R2 such that this may be written as x comma 0. That is summation i runs from 1 to 2 x1 minus 0 square plus x2 minus 0 square to the whole part 1 upon 2 which is less than r. So this is going to be the collection of points in r2 such that x1 square plus x2 square under root has to be uh, okay in let's go choose one of this thing okay this is less than r. If you see and try to plot it and see, because in R2 it is easy to plot and see, we can visualize and see, that would be better. But if we don't wish to go for this diagrammatic thing, we can see from the definition itself. Okay. Uh, first let me explain with the diagram. It is going to be some radius with center at origin and it is going to be the interior of this circle. Okay. Only the interior of the circle I have taken as E. And what would be the limit points of this? All the points inside the circle will be the limit points. 
because whatever may be the point even if it is uh, very close to the boundary or if it is far away from the boundary we can always choose some small radius and we are able to find out some neighborhood so all the points in the sets are going to be interior points which means a neighborhood is completely contained in it if it is completely contained in this it has some other point than this point which is a member of the set itself therefore all the points are being limit points to it here i would like to register one more thing if you are proving a point is an interior point to a set that will also be a limit point to the set because while proving some point uh, some x in e is an interior point of e we are trying to find out some neighborhood of x which is completely contained in e in your limit point definition what do we say we say that uh, in that neighborhood there must exi exist some other point other than this point which is a member of the set here the entire neighborhood is itself a member of a set so all your interior points will be limit points so all these points will be your limit points okay fine since this is proved to be open in the one of the previous lectures we can say this all these points will be our limit points do we have any other points apart from it yes the points on this boundary will also when you try to make a small neighborhood around it you have few points which are inside and you have few points which are outside that is not a bother it is not bothering that we have some points outside it our concern is primarily on the points that are inside the set therefore all the points on the boundary are going to be your limit points therefore your limit point set is going to be the collection of points in r2 such that x1 square plus x2 square equals r as well as less than r so we have less than r equals r when you make the union of these two things what you are going to get you are going to get the collection of points in r2 such that you have absolute of sorry under root x1 square plus x2 square less than or equals r so this is what going to be your closure of a set right so in the first example i have given in the first example that i gave you was the set of uh, discrete points it is, they are not continuous points it is a set of discrete points we get the limit point which is outside the set if suppose under the same thing uh, and d of x y is to be taken as absolute of x minus y let me choose my e to be what uh, the collection of points in r2 such that uh, a1 less than x1 less than b and uh, a2 less than x2 less than b2 so i am taking these kind of points what would be these kind of points if you have uh, listened to the previous lectures you can see that this is going to be a rectangle in the plane okay so this is going to be a recta uh, rectangle right all the point inside the rectangle as well as on the rectangle will be covered in this now if you try to find out the limit points of this set what will you get you see here the metric defined is the usual metric so your neighborhoods are going to be circles even if you take a point here you can find a small radius such that this neighborhood has some points inside the set therefore here your limit point collection is going to be the same which means what you are getting the entire set as the limit point set therefore your cl closure is also going to be the same set because you are going to make the union with union of the set with itself so you will get back the same set okay so we have seen a few examples which might have given you the idea about the complement of a set while finding the complement of a set first thing that we are that we are finding is the limit point set that is e prime 
that e prime may be a subset of e uh, may be a superset of e sometimes it may not have any connection as well so all these kind of examples we have seen right uh, now let us uh, discuss some more some more about boundedness of a set okay this boundedness we have discussed in uh, few lectures ago and in the previous lecture what we have done is that we have seen bounded metric spaces while explaining the bounded metric spaces we did only for the case when the space is real line and the matrix are defined in different forms now be it any metric space okay be it any metric space with met any metric d in that case how are we going to check the boundedness okay generally this metric is a mapping from x cross x to r in specific it is r plus union z0 right your r plus union z0 is unbounded set this is unbounded set under what under the standard euclidean metric okay if you just consider it to be some plain non negative real numbers and you can see that this is an unbounded set under this metric okay now which means you are making a mapping from x cross x to this thing and just try to identify the range of this mapping whatever may be the mapping that you are defining just try to find the range of the mapping once you identify the range cons check for the boundedness under this metric in this space uh, in the previous lecture uh, one thing uh, that i gave you was uh, i think this was the case absolute of x minus y upon 1 plus absolute of x minus y there the metric uh, the space was given to be the space of real numbers but i have not made use of this right i just took this to be d and with this we proved uh, this thing and uh, finally we said uh, d can take any value from 0 comma 1 this is what we did right so whatever may be the point that you are going to give your metric value is going to be some non negative real number so having that in mind you just check whether your metric range that is the range of the metric is bounded under this or not if it is bounded under this you can say your metric is a bounded metric so this is one of the best example for a bounded metric and apart from this one more example that uh, we have seen is minimum of 1 comma absolute of x minus y so and this metric is also bounded by 1 suppose if you choose this to be 2 then this metric will be bounded by 2 here in general what you can have is that minimum of any c absolute of x minus y the c can be any positive value if you define metric in this form on any rn okay n may be any positive integer and any rn you just define metric in this form this is going to be bounded and we say your rn is bounded by the c okay and uh, what more okay uh, this is bounded by c this is what we are saying can we come to the conclusion that this is completely bounded as of now we are just trying to look for the upper bound we are not trying to look for the lower bound because here this space is bounded below right because zero is the minimum value among this it, the value cannot be lesser than zero so the codomain itself is bounded below hence whatever may be the subset you take in this codomain will be bounded below if the range is bounded above then we can come to the conclusion that the metric is bounded okay thank you for watching this lecture if you have any queries you can post it in the comment section that will be clarified within 24 hours of time thank you